and oh no, give me some grandchildren soon. One day, Aladdin was walking on the street. Behind him, he heard a sound of many camels. He was curious, so he turned around. It was a chosen man. On one of the camels, there was a young woman. She was a chosen daughter. She was the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. Aladdin fell in love with her princess at once. He wanted to see her again, but he couldn't. No man could see the princess for many days. Aladdin couldn't could stop thinking of her. He wanted to marry the princess. Today he asked his own mother for help. Mother, I'm in love, he said. Please go to Susan's place. Aladdin's mother wanted her son to be happy. Ask the genie for something nice to give Susan. She gave her a big shiny ruby. Then she went to the place to talk to her Susan. The place was very large and grand. And Susan had a lot of money. She waited outside Susan's office for one whole day. Finally, Susan spoke to her. Why do you wish to speak to me? I Susan, I'm very busy. I'll give you five minutes. Eldest mother told Susan about her son's wish. And Susan listened. <laughs> but we were both very happy. Eldest mother didn't look rich. He wanted the princess to marry a rich man. And he told the old woman said that he made a beautiful ruby. Susan liked the ruby very much. He did not, not have any rubies. He thought of a moment as he made a decision. Aladdin could marry the princess. Aladdin's mother walked home happily. Aladdin was soon be an important man in the village. Aladdin was very happy. But he's also worried. His house was not very big or fancy. The princess would be comfortable here. Asked the genie to build a nice place, palace. The genie was very quickly. Pretty soon he built a lovely palace. Asked the genie to build him a nice palace. The genie was very quick. Pretty soon he built a lovely palace. It was a large, beautiful garden. It was nicer than the surgeon's palace. The princess will be happy in this place. So Aladdin agreed to marry her. The wedding was at the surgeon's palace. They were dancing and singing, and everyone was merry. At midnight, Aladdin and the princess left the palace. They flew to Aladdin's palace on carpets. The princess was very happy to see a new palace. She liked Adam very much. She knew he would be a good husband. Far away in the western desert, the evil magician was thinking about Aladdin. He knew that Aladdin was alive, and that he was married to Susan's daughter. The magician felt jealous. He wanted to make Aladdin poor again. He also wanted a lamp. Be happy with the young Aladdin, thought so, so the magician. So you lose everything. Ha 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 ha! Evil magician went to Aladdin's palace to pretend to be, to be a lamp seller. Aladdin was not at home. He was hunting with the sultan. The magician knocked on her front gate. A servant of opened it. The magician took to her. I'm really stuck, he said. To give me your old lamps, I'll give you a new one. The servant looked around the palace. She found Alison's key lamp and gave it to her magician. The servant didn't know it was special. The magician rubbed the lamp and out came the genie. In a few moments, the palace, the princess, and all the servants was gone in the western desert. The next day, Adam came home. He was shocked. Where was the palace? Where was the princess? 
Maxwell was in his lap. Edgar was in trouble. He rubbed the magic ring on his finger, and the genie came out of the ground. The genie told Aladdin about the magician. Aladdin was very angry. Take me to my palace, he told the genie. I want to rescue my wife and servants. The ring genie took Aladdin to a western desert. Aladdin went to his wife's window and called for her. The princess put her head out of her window. Come so quickly, she said. The magician is not here now. Aladdin went inside. He looked for Aladdin, but it was not there. The magician was killing him. Aladdin had a plan. He gave his wife some special powder. That night, the magician knocked on her door. He told her that Aladdin was dead. She should forget her husband and marry him. He had two glasses of wine with him. The princess took one and quickly put a powder in it. The princess felt very sad. She told the magician that she should marry him. She asked him to give her his glass. And she gave her glass to him. They touched glasses. They both drank the wine. The magician finished his wine first. Suddenly, he had a strange look on his face and fell down dead. Aladdin was waiting in the princess's closet. He jumped out and took the lamp from the magician. He rubbed the lamp. He told the genie to take the horn. In a flash. Everything was back in the old place. The princess put her arms around Aladdin and kissed him. From that day on, they lived happily ever 